Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. I'm Amber, if you're new to my channel, and if you're returning, I want to welcome you back. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of November. Um, I have already pre-shuffled your card, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into the reading. If you um, need a personal reading, the information to do so is down below in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this reading, to this channel, if it resonates with you. Gemini, <clears throat> I feel like you are being uh, very much so affected by the Mercury retrograde that we're in. Um, just my opinion, but I always feel like Gemini is affected the most. Gemini and Virgo, um, you guys are ruled by Mercury. So no, no matter where Mercury's retrograding through, I feel like you guys tend to um, have a challenging time. But... Um, I am feeling like you guys are putting way too much thought into something before taking action. You're overthinking something. You're thinking it forward, thinking it backwards, backup plan to the backup plan to the backup plan. Um, you know, we'll find out in a moment what this all has to do with. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, um, do bear with me because of the Mercury retrograde communication is going to be uh, challenging at this time, okay? But we'll get into it. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of November. Thank you for allowing me to be the vessel to give the messages for their highest good, their highest good only. What is the strongest energy or message for Gemini? Past life relationship. You have known each other before. <laughs> bottom of the deck you have let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally so yeah exactly what i said i really feel like you are probably debating if you should reach out if you should you know reignite a flame um a twin flame possibly um a relationship with someone from your past definitely has you mind boggled right now um the energy i'm feeling though is that you know this person like the back of your hand and i'm really not sure why you are being so apprehensive or being so critical of yourself in the way that you're wanting to approach this person however they've reacted in the past i'm feeling like you're going to receive that same reaction this time around you know so if this is a person that you know prefers to facetime instead of call then stop thinking about calling them and facetime them you know that type of energy if this is a person who um you know celebrates certain holidays um and you're thinking about saying you know happy halloween happy thanksgiving happy whatever um say it because this person likes that type of energy okay tell me about the person people or situations surrounding gemini give your relationship a chance reconciliation on the bottom of the deck work on your partnership i'm telling you look and this is like the same uh individuals there's something that has changed about someone's appearance and I think that that might have you thinking or perceiving that something about this person overall has changed. It hasn't, okay? Um, I definitely feel like you should be flirting. You definitely should extend your lighthearted energy. Um, but let's get into it. What's the energy of past life? Fourth house, okay? This could be a Capricorn. It could be a Cancer. Um, it could be any of the other cardinal signs, Libra or Aries. Uh, particularly, um, this is someone who makes you feel at home, okay? Um, I'm also feeling an energy, too, where for some of you guys, you could have been caught up in a third-party situation with this person um, in the past. Either you had a third party or this person had a third party, and someone's home was wrecked as a result of it. Um, but I'm really, I'm feeling an energy of, um, you know, everything is as it should be. There were certain things that needed to break down in order for what's necessary to be built. Tell me one more thing about past life relationship. Sixth house. Okay. This is about work, health, 
service. Uh, it's about making contributions. It's about skills and methods. Okay, rightfully so. This is Virgo energy. I, I more so feel like it's 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 your energy though. You being a mutable sign, you could be connecting with a cardinal sign. Um. Right now, I'm feeling like what's keeping you guys apart is work and home. It could be that you guys work too much. This person works too much. Um, and for others of you, it could be that your homes are literally miles and miles apart. It could be a long distance sort of relationship. Because when I'm looking at um, these two giving this a chance, it's like someone had to leave home in order for this reconciliation to take place. Tell me about give your relationship a chance. First house, okay? This is about the self. Oh, wow. You see, we're talking about houses. It's like someone's inviting you in or you're inviting someone over. Um, there's some level of self-awareness or awakening that's uh, going to happen when someone arrives. I definitely feel like there's someone who's going to be arriving this month. Or an opportunity to see this person is definitely going to be arriving this month. Tell me something else about this spirit. Leo. Okay. The lover. Um, playfulness was in your pre-shuffle. I definitely feel like this is something that is very much so needed right now. There's a there's an there's an energy of uptightness. And um, I think that it's you, Gemini, okay? But you could be dealing with a fixed sign as well. Um, regardless of the signs, I'm just really feeling an energy of, um, and moving into the month of November, that there is going to be a level of romance, okay? A level of intimacy that ends up making its way into your life okay with the sixth house here in the first house that is seven that is the seventh house which is about relationships okay it's ruled by libra um this is an energy of you know sleeping alone and every night that you're alone you're thinking about this person vice versa for the cross watcher every night that you're away from gemini gemini is thinking about you okay let's find out about this relationship What's the energy of this past life relationship? Ooh. Ten of Swords. Okay. Gemini, this is your energy. I feel like there's a level of truth that you do want to deliver to this person. Um, you may have made attempts in the past. And um, again, communication was a bit of an issue. Um, yes, baby. Yeah, mommy's working. Hmm? Don't wake up. You woke up? Yeah. Okay. Mommy's going to be in there in one minute, okay? You going to watch your TV? Yeah. Yeah? Hold on. I'm sorry about that, Gemini. Um, now, it's funny because I think that right before I pulled this Ten of Swords card, I was talking about the Six and this One being here with it being the Seventh House Energy, it being ruled by Libra, you know, about this all being about a specific relationship Oddly enough, uh, my daughter is a Libra. So, like I was saying, I really feel like there was an energy um, in the past, okay, in the recent past, where you may have tried to deliver some type of truth. Someone, you know, could have tried to deliver some type of truth to you. Um, and it came around a time where things were difficult, uh, where you had a lot of distractions, okay? I definitely feel an energy of somebody's work, okay? Their responsibilities, obligations at home, their family, things of that nature. Very much so being um, a not really like a burdensome energy, but it's a burden to the relationship, okay? Tell me what the Ten of Swords energy is. Got the Hierophant here, <laughs> okay? So this is about commitment. Um, and like I said, I, I kind of feel like um, you guys in the past were dealing with either you had a marriage, a committed relationship, something of that nature, and you ended up meeting someone who was your match. 
okay and um things didn't get to go to a level of commitment right or you know like um traditionalness okay the traditionality of dating someone the traditionality of spending the night uh with someone those things never really showed up because there was some type of um arrangement that was blocking this bottom of the deck you do have uh seven of swords here so let's me know that there was some level of like deceitfulness um that possibly could have been an issue in the past but this is i'll be honest with you this is an energy of someone coming back from a heartbreak okay with the ten of swords the higher fan here with the seven of swords the ten moving to the seven lets me know that there was like a removal of um, a three of swords it was either a third party was removed from this situation okay somebody called judgment on something somebody made a decision to walk away from a third party situation and also it's an energy of someone gaining the strength um to move forward with their life okay you also have six of cups here which is about reconciliation that is your external energy and i think that both parties have reconciliation on their mind you could be seeing this person in your dreams um when you're sleeping <clears throat> this could be making it rather difficult for you to sleep with someone else right now uh if you naturally have someone else in your bed um rather you have someone else in your bed or okay you could be into one night stands or whatever the case may be whatever your life is like gemini um i definitely feel like something has changed here um with the passion the the interest Okay, the way that you want to invest yourself into this relationship and into this person, but there's a lot of thought that you're putting into it, and I don't see a lot of action. Tell me about the seven of swords. Judgment. Told you somebody caused judgment on this. Now this flipped up and flipped back down, so I'm not gonna take it. But it is a reconciliation energy. It's like you want to reconcile. You could have in the past reconciled with this person slightly. But then there was, again, back into that thought process and a regression of action. Tell me about Seven of Swords, please. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Okay, I told you. Somebody's family life, where they live, where they work, or something like that. A marriage. Something of that nature is a, a bit of a burden to this this going to another level how would jim and i view the ten of wands mm -hmm. this is three of three of wands is here in reverse this is an energy of waiting and it never arriving okay but i definitely feel like moving into november something is definitely arriving someone is definitely arriving a door of opportunity is arriving um i do feel an energy of travel okay but right now there is something that's still stagnating this energy for some of you guys it could very much so be a legal situation it could be work it could be scheduling and things of that nature that are keep keeping you in this person apart right now what's the energy of the three of wands in reverse Ooh, ace of wands temperance i just got chills all over wow so ten of wands it was like a something that needed to be released was an issue and i really feel like it was another relationship it was a marriage it was a person something of that nature vice versa for the cross watcher okay with the three of wands being here in in reverse it lets me know that you finally came to some level of realization that what you desired was not going to show up in this relationship or arrangement that you were in so it was broken up okay three of wands in reverse with the ace of wands here this was about literally a marriage some sort of commitment okay somebody was waiting on a new start it arrived and it wasn't what they expected with the ace of wands here temperance okay um, I definitely feel like you are planning to share your thoughts about this person. You're preparing to take action. You're preparing an offer for someone. Tell me how the other person would view temperance here. Interesting. So um, I'm asking how the other person would view temperance. And um, so remember the ace of wands is already here. And now you have uh, the ace of wands behind this person. Okay. 
there is a new start, a new venture that this person is moving towards, moving on beyond, right? And then you have this two of wands, which is that three of wands. It's like a restart after a heartbreak, quite literally. It's like, you know, I tried this out with this person. I tried to make my marriage work or I met someone else as I was dating this person or hanging out with this person. They weren't what I thought they were. Now it's time for me to go get what I know is more deserving, you know, more worthy of my time with the two of wands here. It's definitely taking a new path. Um, there's somebody in this situation, though, that had been waiting, 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 and to the point where they had become almost codependent of uh, the outcome. And um, Nine of Pentacles being here, though, this I'm telling you, like, it, it is a, a waiting energy. It's a very bound energy. For a lot of you guys, this is definitely um, with a um, cardinal sign. Capricorn, Aries, Libra. Um, A Cancerian, even. Whoever it is that you're moving towards, I do think that they've been watching you juggle this situation, wondering if you were going to come forward, if you were going to break free. Um, I think that whoever this person is, uh, when you do decide to share your thoughts, about what you experienced in this other union in this marriage whatever took you away from this person that they're probably already going to be on the same page with you they've seen a lot of what you're planning to share that could have been through social media to be honest with you i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure but um they definitely know parts of the truth here tell me about giving your relationship a chance for gemini Yep, Knight of Swords. This is you coming in very quickly to communicate after experiencing lies, deceit, things of that nature with this person. You just came to a realization that you got to move quickly towards the person that you love. Tell me about this Knight of Swords energy. Ooh, the sun. It very much so could be someone who has Leo in their chart. Um, but this is someone who brings you joy. This is someone that brings you, you know, a level of contentment. This person could be a mother. They could have children. Definitely, I feel like it. it there, there's a level of distance. There's, there's definitely distance. Um, what's the energy of the sun? The page of cups is here in reverse. Um, that's funny because I was going to say that earlier, but it's here now. <laughs> uh, when I was looking at temperance in the two of wands, I was feeling like there's one of you that is emotionally driven by this connection. There's another one of you that is sexually driven by this uh, connection. Okay. Now, um, with the nine of pentacles, the nine of pentacles is also to learning information about a home, learning information about an opportunity, about a job, something of that nature, learning about something that's going to create a level of abundance. Now, when I ask about the energy of the sun, I, I said this person brings you joy, contentment, things of that nature. Page of cups in reverse is about seduction. So whoever this person is, um, very, very seductive. And I think that they have you really really wrapped up in your thoughts gemini this definitely was a third party situation that i feel like has come to an end bottom of the deck you have the chariot here and now judgment is back out here you're making the right judgment and you're deciding to move on it how would the other person view judgment and chariot here mm -hmm. tell me one more thing about that So five of cups, uh, knight of cups. Okay, I definitely feel like it is. It you know it's gonna be an end of sorrow, because this person was waiting on you, bound. Okay, by the results of uh, this relationship that you gave a chance to instead of them. Um, 
because I think that this person kind of knew like Gemini is my my person my soulmate vice versa for the cross watcher they are my twin flame whatever the case may be this person has a lot of healing energy This person has been very focused on self-love, though. I will tell you that. Don't be bothered um, if this person seems to come off a bit guarded. I definitely still feel like they are going to accept and receive your offer. But I feel like they're going to be very guarded first. Um, enthusiastic, but still guarded. Like, so what happens to us? You know, like, I'm happy to hear from you, but like, what happened? That type of thing like a curiosity um there, there's a curious sort of uh energy what they imagine they're not sure if it is to be true okay where's this headed this relationship wow six of pentacles seven of pentacles i like it there's a lot of work that needs to be done um, but this is headed to a very balanced place. Uh, it's headed to a very comfortable place. Now, I like the way that... Daddy, yes, Daddy. baby. What's that? Hold on. Gemini, I am so sorry for the interruptions. I... <laughs> I definitely uh, do want to warn you, too, that this third party that you could have left behind for this person that you're moving towards, please don't be uh, surprised, okay, if this person decides to make a rude, you know, interruption, a rude interjection into what it is that you are moving towards. Because what you're moving towards is something that is abundant. It's going to grow. It's very abundant, I'll say it again, it's very abundant. This could be an earth sign that you're moving towards. I, there's a lot of earth energy here. I definitely feel like you could be moving away from a water sign. But anyway, let's move forward. How does uh, Gemini break through? Oh my gosh. So I kept telling you about that. There goes that seventh house now <laughs> in Venus. Okay. Being charming, also receiving charm is, you know, going to be the way that you break through this situation. There's a need to be friends with this person first to rebuild a friendship prior to, um, you know, hopping into, you know, like a sexual endeavor. And I definitely feel like that's why the Page of Cups is here in reverse because this person seduces you very much so. Vice versa for the cross watcher, Gemini may be very seductive uh, towards you. But whatever it is that you're coming out of with the Hierophant being here in the Ten of Wands, um, I felt I feel like a lot of the pressure that you were receiving in the past was happening in the bedroom. And so there's a need for you guys to slowly approach the bedroom. OK, this definitely could be a Libra, um, a Taurus um, that you're moving towards. There's um, a, a, a need, too, to kind of tap into Venus energy. This person may have a Venus in Taurus, Libra um Sagittarius Virgo or even Scorpio for some of you guys I do see a Pisces as well I feel like this person may have a rising um or moon sign in Leo Taurus Aries okay um but there's a need for you to utilize like diplomacy um not overindulging and like the enthusiasm of this reconciliation is going to be very important that's how you're going to break through let me see what the advice is what's the advice for gemini you and your loved ones are safe new moon and cancer Bottom of the deck, you, I knew it. 
new moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears, okay? I definitely feel like you guys are possibly leaving behind a, um, a water sign or someone who has water in their Venus chart or something of that nature. Um... There's a need for you to come outside of your shell, change up your habits, okay? The advice is for you to rejuvenate this relationship. That's your reading, Gemini. I hope that this brings you great uh, clarity, okay? I'm so sorry for the interruptions. Um, if you're, you know, returning to my channel, then you already know what's up. That just means you're going to have some interruptions in your life this month okay if the, those of you that are new here i do have visions in the 3d um so sometimes when i tap into your energy things start to kind of whip up around me that are possibly messages um divine interventions for you don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to this video to this channel if it resonates with you i appreciate me i appreciate you allowing me to tap into your beautiful energy bye gemini